quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? Ah! Are you being reckless? Don't worry, nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman. Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Trust me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. But you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? He's back! Papa's got a brand new stash. Since I've been gone, I've discovered the source of ultimate power. That sounds big. It's been on my vision board for years. Hope I'm not too late. I'm sorry, who are you? Name's Tails. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Today's forecast calls for a 100% chance of adventure. On it! Return to sender. Face it, you're never going to get my power. Do I look like I need your power? Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles. Hello everybody. And uh, welcome to my Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie review. So I watched this movie yesterday, and I gotta say, I am blown away. Every single meme from the first movie has come back. Every joke from the first movie has come back. They they focus more heavily upon the animated characters in this one, which is great. Um, especially with the new coming characters into the movie. Um, and... I, I kid you not, I, I can't mention everything, but I really do feel like almost everything from the first movie comes back around in some way in the second film. And I feel like that's very impressive, especially for a franchise that started off as like a kid's, as a kid's movie. They made it as a kid's movie. It was very, very impressive to see that, in my personal opinion. And Jim Carrey is great. Um, all the actors are great. It's... It's great to see this franchise continue to grow. Um, there are plenty of jokes for kids, but Sonic fans will absolutely love this movie. There is one credit scene after the uh, action credits, which are the um, the credits of this, the movie soon ends. So if you're a Sonic fan, you'll like that credit scene, so stay for it. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to say. I can't spoil too much, but there is so such a funny sequence in this movie it was so freaking good the this movie it's very difficult in movies to balance live action characters and animated characters especially when you have to balance that to a t and this movie i think does a great job because you want to focus more on sonic tails and knuckles you want to focus on those characters you want to focus on their dynamics and in some ways you want to focus on their past more than you did in previous films but you have to balance all of that into one film and it's really difficult to do that especially with kids movies because you have to you have to include things in there that will um entertain kids because that's the market for it is the, the market is for kids it's not you know it's not pg-13 it's it's not gonna get majority of the marvel market but personally for me oh gosh sorry for me this movie was my most excited movie of this year right now it is still my most excited movie of this year um, I'm going to go watch it again. I'll probably watch it like five more times while it's in theaters. It was so good. See this on the biggest screen that you can. The end of the movie is so 
awesome, but you need to watch it on a big screen. Otherwise, it won't feel as overwhelming and in a good way overwhelming. Like they they made this set. They I mean, they didn't make the set. It was probably it was CGI'd, but they they put all the effort into this movie, and it really shows. Between the dialogue, you know, sometimes a bit too many fart jokes, but the dialogue, the characters, I mean, I literally everything from the first movie has uh, comes back around. Um, at the beginning, they give, well, uh, they don't they don't really describe where Tails comes from, but they give a reason for Tails being there, and Tails has Tails's reason goes back toward the first film and something that happened in the first film and there is a lot of other things that do that in little jokes um uh meow the one of the biggest sonic memes that has come out of the first movie back when that terrible sonic existed um that comes back uh the olive garden plugs came back and it's 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 amazing. It's impressive. I mean, to be able to write those jokes back into the movie and do it so fluently, it's impressive to me. For me, Song of the Hedgehog 2 is the movie I wanted and the movie I needed. We You can have a thousand Marvel movies, but I will still like Sonic 2 over most of them. Not because I don't like superhero movies, but because... A superhero movie isn't my forte, necessarily. Which is ironic, because of this movie. But Sonic... Sonic blends things in so well, and I felt like this movie felt different than the first one, but also fit in perfectly. And I kept on getting shocked and surprised. There was a twist I didn't see coming at all. If anyone sees that twist... Boy, give yourself a pat on the back. But, like, it's so much fun. If you go into this movie not liking it, you really must dislike comedies. Like, it's it's amazing. It's amazing what the love and passion put into this character. And uh, Ben Schwartz uh, does the voice of Sonic in both films. And he has a line that he says he tries to get to every role he does. He says, nailed it. Um, I know he, he mentioned that somewhere. I don't know if it was on an extra of the first films, Blu-ray or something, but, um, he says it in the first one and he says it in this one. I kid you not. <sighs> Sorry. A lot of things come back around from the, from the first film. And I think that it is very, it, very impressive and very cool that they, you know, are able to to do this. And that they're able to give people something that I don't think we've really ever seen before. This movie as well is, is I think, going to be a very big movie for uh, uh, video game adaptations. And why I say that, also, I want I want to look. I haven't looked... I want to go to Rotten Tomatoes, because it's officially... I think, officially, the movie's released now. Um, Like, I think it's officially released, so there should be an audience score. Woo! Yeah! So, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 got a 66% on Rotten Tomatoes. And a 98% audience score. Heck yes to that Sonic. Why does it say I can buy it on Voodoo? Oh, you can pre-order it on Voodoo. I do like how they're doing that. They, As soon as the movie comes out, you can pre-order it digitally, which is pretty freaking sick. I'm getting, I'm getting a Steelbook copy of that movie for sure. That is, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is like my favorite movie of this year. Um, I do want to compare it to Sonic the Hedgehog 1, though. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes. So I want to compare it. I want to compare the two. So we got a 63 and a 66, so slightly better, and a 93 and a 98. So they increased on Rotten Tomatoes for both. 
And I think, I think that that 98 is pretty accurate for most people. I think that you will like that. I think that that is a very good description for people to, um, to get to, uh, to get to see. And, oh my gosh, it's just so good. Idris Elba as Knuckles, though. Idris Elba as Knuckles was phenomenal. He did such a good job. And it feels like such a different role for uh, Idris Elba. I don't, you know, I don't normally see him in roles like that that often. I, I just, it's not something that comes up that often. It's so it's so good, guys. Like seriously, what are you doing? Listen to me talk. Go watch the movie. Um, but no, I do want to say something pretty important that I think will be very, very crucial to video game adaptations in the future, and that's Colleen O. Uh, Colleen. I'll just say Colleen. Uh, Colleen is the voice of Tails, and not just in this movie. Colleen is the voice of Tails from at least some of the video games, if not all of the video games. This is phenomenal. This is such a cool thing, because she was the voice in the end of the first film, and she's the voice of Tails in this film, too. And why that's so important, I feel, is people don't um, people, when they create these video game adaptations, don't ever have characters, especially animated characters, voiced by the same people that play them in the games. Um, you know, Uncharted's a very recent one. They had the person who played Nathan Drake show up in the movie as a cameo, but he didn't play any important character, which is fine. I don't feel that's a movie that would do it, but... There are plenty of adaptations of video games that don't have that. Also, holy heck, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 has 10,000 plus verified ratings that got it that 93. And there is 90, 200, 250 plus at 98%, um, which is pretty phenomenal. I'm going to definitely leave my review here in a second for sure um wow just congrats congrats everyone and it's about double the length of the first one too fun fact double length but uh first one was an hour 39 this one is two two hours two minutes so it's longer they were more confident this definitely had a bigger budget than the last one and i was dying in the theater and personally I, I think I, I probably would continue to die. Because, I mean, I can, like, die of laughter. I think a lot of these jokes will hit multiple times. And, like, there's a lot of same beats, but it's great. It You can just write this off as a kid's movie. If you really want to, you can do that. And I don't blame you in the slightest. That's totally okay. But at the same time, this movie has so much more heart and you know that the people behind this movie really care about it. You can, you can see that coming through the screen. It's just, it's very self-evident from the voice actors that play the characters to the live action people like James Marsden, who is on set, actually on set. Um, and also James Marsden, this movie felt very, very like action heavy for James Marsden. Uh, a lot of movies he's are in are low budget films, and this one was definitely not as low budget. Um, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog budget budget. So, um, budget was eighty five million. Opened fifty eight million. In 4,167 theaters. I mean... 
It didn't even make its budget back. Oh, oh wait, no, no, never mind. Sorry, that was opening. It made one hundred and forty-eight million internationally or domestic. Domestic worldwide was three hundred nineteen million. Holy moly! So Sonic the Hedgehog two. It does not tell me the budget. Uh, worldwide has made twenty nine million so far, and that's wow. It, it's it has already released in the UK. So to be fair, I know that for a fact that it released in the UK. So that that is uh that is why it's like that. It technically still hasn't released over here at the time of this recording. Um. Budget. No, that's the first film. Oh. Um. Is Sonic 2 on Disney Plus? Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will be available to watch on Disney Plus, Plus starting March 11th. What? That does not seem accurate. Not at all. But unfortunately, currently... Oh, that's Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm confused. I'm I'm really confused right now. Okay, it's it's showing the cast for the second one, but it's still the first one that is showing me all the stuff for anyway. It's fine. Um I can't compare the budget, but I'm guessing the budget's probably bigger. It just it stands to reason that it it probably is bigger. Um but I really like this movie. Give it a shot. Uh, or wait until it comes to Paramount Plus. I believe 45 days and then it'll probably be on Paramount Plus. Um, so wait, wait that time. Uh, and then watch it if you have Paramount Plus or rent it. It's worth whatever you spend on it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, or watching, depending, because there's trailers before and after. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I do. I'm sorry for the lack of content recently, and I know that um, sometimes there's a movie review, and then I don't upload for like, like every other day basically. So, but there's a lot, lot going on. I do apologize, but thank you so much for watching this, and I hope that you guys like this movie review. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> These rings signify the commitment. So help me, Thomas! Sorry, sorry. Life or death situation! I need you to use the ring to save me, like right now! Snow, my God. Oh, boy. Ah, Hawaii. I just hope we are not too late. Oh, Lord, there are two of them now. What's happening? Uh, okay, quick version Robotnik is back. I discovered the source of ultimate power. We need to get it back or the world is doomed. You brought some kind of... Space porcupine. I am an echidna warrior. Hmm. Hedgehog. It's time to say goodbye to humanity. To the new norm. This is your moment to be the big hero. Bad time to say this, but I don't actually have a plan. Hey, you got a little something on your... Uh, buddy. Someone call an Uber? It's cold in here. Let's turn up the heat. The Winter Soldier. Fear not, citizen. You are terrible at this. Your negative attitude is not helping. We stick together, no matter what. 
You're unskilled. Untrained. Unworthy. You forgot one. Unstoppable. You are really bad at punching. Uh, 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 uh.